What's good, people? I'm sending peace and love to everybody in the whole world tonight. Peace and love to everybody. I want to make a video. Um, <laughs> I was just having a download. Um, I'm kind. I'm kind of drawing a blank right now. Give me a second. I waited too long to make the video. Give me a minute though, let's don't come back. So a lot of people, everybody wants love. Everybody. I, I if there's a person that don't want love, I don't know what's wrong with them. But you as you can see, it's not it's not all that easy to find somebody to to love you for a long time and to be with you for a long time and just like I feel like sometimes we expect people to be perfect like just because when you first meet them you know everything is all good you're having a good time you're out of your mind you're not even thinking you're just having a good time you're just loving the person just you know you're enjoying their company but then six months down the line, you start getting to to know more about the person, and then you're like, I don't like, I don't like that, I don't like that in that person. So then you start looking at the person like, like there's someone. Who are you? I don't even know who you are. I don't even know this person. Cause you didn't take the time to get to know them. You think somebody can tell you? A hundred percent of who they are <clears throat> when you first meet them like half the people don't even know people don't even know who they are so how, how are they gonna just tell you <laughs> how, you how, how are you supposed to know everything about a person like shit and two we it just it don't make no sense and my thing is if you want love, if you want real love, real, true love, you have to be able to put that out. But if you, <laughs> if you're the kind of person that's saying, I want true love and I want somebody to love me for me, how are they going to love you for you? And you don't even know who you are. Like, you wear makeup on your face. Caked on. You wear weave. Like, you don't even... I'm not saying that wearing makeup and wearing weave is a bad thing. I'm saying... Sometimes we get used to wearing that stuff every day like some some people who wear makeup are like i can't go out the door without no makeup on i can't do this i look ugly like they don't even realize which i think they do subconsciously realize that you you feel like you're you feel like you don't like yourself you're not okay with with what you have naturally because you have to cover it up and you cover it up every day not just sometimes you want to en enhance yourself a little bit that's fine but you wear it every day like clockwork and you will be late for work, late for school, whatever. You have to have on your makeup. So I'm not trying to bash nobody. I'm just trying to make a point. If you are not being your true self, how can you attract somebody else that's going to be their true self who's going to understand you? How? You're not even you're not even showing who you are on the inside. Some of y'all or some of us are being fake. <laughs> so if you're being fake like if you're not being a hundred percent yourself if you're not portraying that then how can you attract that do you get it how can you attract if you're if you got on a mask like if you got on a halloween mask <laughs> and you walk around with that halloween mask on every day how is somebody gonna know you because i feel like when you put on a mask you have to you have to act like that person because that's not really you naturally 
<laughs> so what I'm saying is, if you want someone to love you for you, the real you, you have to be the real you. You have to, every day, grow into that person. It's okay if you're not there, but you have to grow to love yourself every day. And it's work, but you can do it. It's important to love yourself. Because when you love yourself, that's when someone else can love you. That's when love can come to you from all, not just in in romantic relationships. It can come through shit, jobs, any kind of opportunity. It can just come if you open your heart and love yourself. You think about why you've been getting crappy relationships over and over and over and over and over. Is because you're attracting the same kind of person you are. You just don't recognize that in yourself. Because, because if you were on a... You know, there's some people in the world that other people feel like... Like, for instance, a famous person is not most likely on a regular basis going to talk to some person that lives in the hood and don't give a fuck about nothing like they just ain't gonna do it because their mindset is not the same it's never gonna work never it's never gonna happen so you cannot attract something that you are not peace